wasn't much I couldn't feel so I tried to touch I've told the truth I didn't come to fool ya and even though it all went wrong I stand before the Lord of song nothing on my tongue but everybody welcome it is such a pr privilege and pleasure to be here with you tonight how about music at temple high what do you think <laughs> welcome to our visitors cantor luck and cantor type welcome to our beloved musical leaders who are standing surrounding us cantor woman alan naplin sharona feller dan curick our amazing choir our youth choir who make it happen all the time One quick word and then we'll get back to music. I learned from my parents that if you want to change the world, one thing you can do is sing the music of the people, sing the folk music. So let's listen tonight, let's sing tonight, let's see if we can change the world. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Rabbi. Beautiful, uh, beautiful and inspiring words as always. A um, few thank yous. Let's get them out of the way and enjoy our night together. Um, first of all, Billy and Arik, dear friends, cantorial colleagues, thank you for joining us. They're both cantors in California and old friends who, who spent uh, 14 years doing stuff together. Really a treasure uh, to have dear close friends come and share uh, music with, and I get to share them with you, which is a real gift to me. Um, Tonight's performers lending their talents and times. Cantor Sharona, thank you. Alan, thank you. Dan, each of you are gifts, and we are grateful to be in your midst as such musicians. Our adult choir. <laughs> and our soon-to-be youth choir. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> um, a special word goes out to Debbie Berkowitz, who um, takes this challenge of organizing a concert and runs with it. Debbie, wherever you are, thank you. It is a, a true gift to our community. Bruce Celine and the Chai Cafe team for feeding everybody tonight. Thank you so much. The food was delicious. And to JJ's for sponsoring. And a quick word goes out to their team who are here from early this afternoon. Joanne, Gary, Carrie, Hayden, Brian, Josh, And Andra, Natalie, Rick, Cheryl, Trish, Julie, Kimberly, and Taylor, thank you so much. You guys were amazing and wonderful. Our wonderful sponsors, you can see on the back of the program tonight, our dear rabbis for our endless support of the things we do musically. The congregation, Joe Miller and Sheena Abrams for helping to keep things running and get the ticketing website and the tickets sold. Josh Yano for creating the ticketing website, thank you so much. 
Um, Temple Chai. It's been a really good fourth year together, and we're almost at the end. I can't believe it. But thank you for being a, the best community a cantor can hope for. And do you see these lights? Isn't this fantastic? A real special word of gratitude. You should do this every Friday night. <laughs> we, we do this every Friday night, of course. Um, Jack and Debbie Wakis, Video West. Wow, what an incredible... Um, our sanctuary has been transformed, and I am just moved beyond belief. Um, the last word is to my wife, Malka. Thank you for uh, putting up with me and stress and anxiety and making space in your world for me and our family. It means so much. The last thing is there's a set of keys that were left at the bar. Is Chevrolet key? Joe Miller has them back in the sound booth. Let's sing. I don't alum. I don't alum. I share my love. But terem call it in Ivra. Lay it not so. Next piece, Avinu Shabbat Shamaim, the prayer for the state of Israel, written by Mayor Finkelstein, a cantor and composer. He's written for numerous television programs, TV movies. He's written for the conservative movement, the reform movement, and the recon and reconstructionist congregations all over the world. And he's considered one of the most popular contemporary Jewish liturgical composers in the United States. And so I offer this beautiful setting of Mayor Finkelstein's, um, and I'd like to invite um, a member, a new friend of mine, a member of the congregation, Alexa Schaefer. 
She's going to join me tonight. Twenty years ago, the Broadway musical Ragtime opened on Broadway, and it told the, told the story of turn-of-the-century America, when our country was facing challenges with race relations and with immigrants getting settled and being welcomed to America. And I don't know about you, but I am sure glad that those issues are resolved, right? <laughs> Just like later folk songs of the 60s and other times make them hear you sung by a coal house walker, calls for social justice and protest and for teaching children what's right. <laughs> Let it echo far and wide, 
Make them hear you. Make them hear you. How justice was our battle and how justice was denied. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. And say to those who blame us for the way we chose to fight that sometimes there are battles that are more than black or white. And I could not put down my sword when justice was my right. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Go out and tell our story to your daughters and your sons. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. And tell them in our struggle we were not the only ones. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Your sword can be a sermon or the power of the pen. Teach every child to raise his voice and then my brothers then. I'd like to invite our youth choir to come on up. Third through seventh graders, we rehearse every Sunday after Sunday school. And tonight, what would our folk movement be without the music of Debbie Friedman? Our musical heroine who gave us so much and was taken far too soon. Um, not by might, encourage you all to sing along.
American composer, professor, founding professor at the Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion, Debbie Friedman School of Sacred Music, writer of music we sing every high holidays, Max Helfmann, was an immigrant from Poland. His family came to America in 1909 when he was nine years old. And he said, the text of the New Colossus, the script that's on the, the inscription that's on the Statue of Liberty. He was inspired by the opportunities that are in this country and by the freedom that he was given to express his Judaism. I'm sure most of the hands in this room would be up if we asked how many of us have family that came maybe through Ellis Island, but rode a boat past the Statue of Liberty. That is the music of our people. That is the story of much of American Judaism. And with our adult choir, Lady with the Lamp by Max Helfmann. A lullaby, perhaps the oldest folk song we know, passes down from generation to generation. Wherever we travel and wherever we call home, these lullabies sung from the heart go straight to our hearts. Imagine, if you will, a mother singing at the hearth, rocking her only son, Yidle, to sleep. Shluf, sleep, my child. To the mother, perhaps in Spain, as she sings Shema to her sleeping boy. Perhaps it is the melody of the Dugit, the little boat that sails in the waters of a new but ancient land that rocks the child to sleep. Or is it from a 15th century English folk song, a lullaby, which was carried by settlers to the American Appalachians? As I sang to my own children, I now have the blessing of singing to our four granddaughters. So sit and relax, but try not to fall asleep. In dem bes hamikdash, in a vehicle chedet, sits the alone pas Zion alone. I ben yochad ayit levi zika seidne uzitzin rum shlofin ali veshem ay ve du 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 un 
Shema So the first piece I sang had no folk connection at all. Second piece I'm going to sing right now <laughs> also has very little to do with folk music. <laughs> but the composer, Michael Isaacson, has everything to do with folk music. You see, Michael Isaacson grew up in the 60s and 70s in, in the time of the URJ, or what, uh, what once was the UAHC Kutz Camp. And at that time, he was writing lots of folk music. He wrote his first folk service together with Debbie Friedman. And his composing evolved over time. 
And the other connection and deserving reason why this is such a, a wonderful piece to sing on, on a concert like this is because of my connection to Ross. You see, um, our first year in school, we kind of had our one piece that we loved to sing for everything. And I think Ross sang his one piece last year, the Romania, Romania, do you remember that? I heard he told me that. Um, and so this was my one piece, uh, the Sim Shalom. So I'm really excited to, to welcome to have the, the choir with me on this piece. And I hope you enjoy. And it, you guys, some of you, they know this, yeah? All right, well, enjoy. <laughs> can't talk about folk music and not talk about the influence of Sephardi and Mizrahi music. This is a piece that is special to my heart uh, because I grew up with it on Friday nights. We used to play this record and we're a little bit out of order with the program so I apologize. This is its Lenu Bekfar Todra. Uh, we are in the village of Todra, in the heart of the Atlas Mountains. This story tells, this song tells a story about how they would teach Torah to children in the heart of the Atlas Mountains. There's a custom uh, that you actually, when a child is old enough, that you bring them into the, uh, the Beit Sefer, the, the school, and you paint the words of the Torah in honey on the wall, and then you have the child lick the honey because the Torah is as sweet as honey on your tongue. And then they actually would make a crown and declare this child to be like, now it's as if you are a king uh, because you've been blessed with the gift of Torah for the first time. This piece has a melody that I'm going to teach all of you. And you should feel free to join with me. La, 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 la. Hey, la, 
Let's try that together. You guys should stand up too. Feel free to sing it lightly into your mics. Let's try it together. Here we go. <laughs> I forgot to mention before 
Lucy. Our dear friend Lucy um, fell ill a week ago. She's fine now, but um, she was unable to make the journey. And we miss you, Lucy. We uh, wish you nothing but health and joy. And come back to Temple Chai, please, whenever you're able. The next song comes from the play Jacques Brel is Alive and Well and Living in Paris. And the music, the original handwritten music is part of the background in the flyer for this concert, <coughs> was given to me by Fran Moss, a dear friend who is in the original, uh, the original play in, on Broadway. Off-Broadway. Off-Broadway. <laughs> and she shared that there were nine shows a week, three boys, three girls, rotations of four for each show, and they just sang and sang and sang. And the show was a hit. But the one thing that everybody came back and shared with them was how meaningful, if we only have love, was to all of them. And so this is the, I know, <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> and we'll be joined with our choir and of course, this is translated into English from the original French. If we only have love, then tomorrow will dawn, and the days of our years will rise on that morn. If we only have love to embrace without fears, we will kiss with our eyes, we will sleep without tears. If we only have love with our arms open wide, and the young and the old will stand at our side. If we only have love, love that's falling like rain, and the parched desert earth will grow green once again. If we only have love,
Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to have an intermission for about 15 minutes. It's very important. We have a lot of wonderful raffle items, <laughs> and you can choose where your raffle ticket goes. Please buy raffle tickets. Please go to the bar. Have a good time. We'll see you in 15. Get your keys.
So please just sit down right where you are. Don't worry about it. The Jews are schmoozing and juicing. Thank you. I do bar mitzvahs. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, now I'm a camp counselor. This is what we do. All right. So uh, for our second set, uh, we're going to do something else, something entirely different that we haven't done yet. Uh, I have a show that I sometimes do uh, that Mr. Type here, Music Directs, uh, Canterbilly Type here, Music Directs, um, and it's called the Moisha Oyster Show. And it, yeah, and it's all about this guy, Moisha Oyster. Don't laugh. That, that wasn't the joke. Yeah, it wasn't I mean, even that, the that's joke. That's serious. I know, this is, this yeah. is good. And uh, it's all about his life, and he was this cantor who was seventh generation from the old country, and he really wanted to be a Hollywood movie star. Um, it wasn't going to happen, but that was his, you know, that was his goal in life. And, uh, and throughout the show, I sort of recreate his life. We recreate, he was the, a matinee idol of the Yiddish cinema, and we recreate some of those scenes, and there's a whole band and everything, and it's crazy, and it's fun. And, and I wear a white dinner jacket and a bow tie. It's hot to trot. Um, it's very Mrs. Maisel, okay? Uh, thank you. Thank you. So... What we're going to do now is I'm going to give you just a little taste of it. It's very small. We don't have the band and everything. Uh, but just to give you a little bit of a feel of what it's like, I'm going to show you the very, very last piece. It happens to be participatory. So everyone's going to sing. So right now, I just want you to look to the person to your right. Go ahead. Look to the person to your left. And now, out loud, to either one of those people, I want everyone to say, you have permission to sing. Go. Good, I don't want any excuses about, oh, I'm so embarrassed to sing. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Now, I'm gonna show you what to do. We're gonna sing Chad God Yah from Passover, okay? And I know some of you have done this before with Cantor Wallman, so that's exciting. Um, this is not Chad God Yah, though. We're gonna sing it in Ashkenaz. That song I was singing before was Sephardic Judaism with all the Sephardic pronunciations. Now we're gonna do the Ashkenazic Judaism with those pronunciations. So we're not gonna say Chad God Yah. We're going to say, Chod God Yo. <laughs> All right, so everyone say, Chod God Yo. Very good. So I'm going to teach you the first part. Can I have an F major chord? Thank you. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to sing a little phrase, and it's going to end with all of you going, Chod God Yo. Okay, everybody try that. Very good. And the choir's helping us too. It's amazing. So listen to the phrase. When my arm goes like that, that's the Chag God Yah. That's those three. You do it three times. Here we go. So I'm going to go. All right. Some of you were late. It's all right. No names being mentioned. So then I'm going to sing another phrase. And the second time is a little different. Instead of going, Chag God Yah. You're going to go like this. Chod God Ya, Chod God Ya. But it's a little faster. It's Chod God Ya, Chod God Ya. Everyone's going to do it. One, two, three, go. Chod God Ya, Chod God Ya. Good. Now we're going to try those two phrases together. So first it's Chod God Ya. And then it's Chod God Ya, Chod God Ya. We're going to do them both. It's going to happen. Can I have that chord one more time? Thank you. We actually haven't started yet, by the way, folks. I know that's thrilling. All right. This up and up a piece of Zuzi, mada be, mada be, mighty to be bum. Hug God, ya, hug God, ya, hug God, ya. Hey, didn't think of the gazab and up a piece of Zuzi, mada be, mada be, mighty to be bum. Hug God, ya. No, 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 no. I haven't, I haven't, you know, I'm gonna, it'll be big. This is just prepare. Okay, second, let's do it again. This up and up a piece of Zuzi, mada be, mada be, mighty to be bum. Hug God, ya, hug God, ya, hug God, ya. Hey, didn't think of the gazab and up a piece of Zuzi, mada be, mada be, mighty to be bum. Hug God, ya, hug God, ya, hug God, ya, hug God, ya. Yes. You thought you were done, and yet you're not. I have more instructions. Now you're going to, what we call, what Cantor Type and I call, you're going to ride the Chag God Yaw train. Okay? It's, a, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. So when you ride the Chag God Yaw train, it's actually not hard to do at all. And it's a train that everyone wants to ride. Okay? And it goes like this. Can I have that chord one more time? Thank you. It goes like this. 
Just listen. Try Now keep going. And if I go like this, it means just keep going. Good. And you'll have to keep going. Thank you. You can stop now. Now you can actually stop. You'll have to keep going, and I'm going to do all sorts of crazy stuff with Cantor Wallman. It does not mean yeah. stop. You just keep going until we get into like, oh, God, yeah. you'll come back. The only other thing you need to know is at the very end, we're going to sing a huge high note. Remember, you already gave yourselves permission for that. So it's going to end with a big, oh, God, yeah, oh, God, yeah, and you're all going to sing it. No excuses. All right. All right, Cantor Wallman. Get Ross, should we do this? Let's do it. All right, so I want everyone to wait while I turn to the music. I have this memorized, but I should probably have it in front of me. Just in case. Mm, here it is. Yeah. Okay, now I want everyone to repeat after me. Can I have that chord one more time? Okay, repeat after me. God, God, yo, God, God, yo. God, God, yo, God, God, yo. Dizabin a bo. Dizabin a bo. Dizabin a bo. Be sweet, Susie, mother be, mother be, mighty to be bum. God, God, yo, God, God, yo. God, God, yo. Hey, then I'm thinking the Gazabin a bo. Be sweet, Susie, mother be, mother be, mighty to be bum. God, God, yo, God, God, yo. God, God, yo, God, God, yo. Okay, a slight, in slight interruption for some business. Uh, we're going to, uh, the raffles have been drawn for the uh, smaller gifts. We'll send an email out about that, but this is going to be the grand prize drawing by your one and only senior rabbi, Mari Cherno. <laughs> She's honest, she doesn't lie. Before we do that, if I may take a moment, Temple Chai, how about Joe Miller?
Thank you, thank you. There'll be more of that in the coming months. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> She's pulling this stuff on me left and right. Just wait. Uh, it means more than you know. Thank you so much. Anyway, back to business here. Let's go. Come on. Grand prize winner is... Lori Brueggemann. Lori Brueggemann. Hey. One year's past Odyssey. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the music. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, Joe. Quick, what's the transition? What's the transition? <laughs> I won the lottery. No. Um, well, I won the lottery of sorts because when I was growing up, grew up in Las Vegas. I was part of an amazing youth group. An amazing youth group that actually had something to do with Temple Chai. You see, I was part of the Southwest region. We used to call it Swifty. <laughs> and yeah, you, you can clap for that. I'll clap for that. Now Nifty Southwest. And over the years of high school, I spent many Shabbatot here in this building, walking around today and yesterday, looking at the places where we used to have friendship circles, where I used to see Rabbi Burke dancing around up here. <laughs> <laughs> and even in college, I spent time at Temple Chai with Sharona. I reminded her of a story um, when Ava had hired me. I went to U of A. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. And come up the 10 and ride the bus up to Camp Pearlstein. I know it's not Camp Pearlstein anymore. Um, and learn from Sharona. She, uh, um, I, I don't even remember what grade it was, but it was like, uh, I don't know, fifth or sixth grade retreat or something like that. And, and Sharona was teaching everybody about um, the wedding service. And I remember her, you still do it, yeah. Yeah, I incredible retreat, and I remember song leading for that. And you know, it's kind of where I got my start. And um, so it's really special to be back here. And one last thing I want to tell you before I announce this song is that actually this guitar it's not my guitar. It's um, my good friend, Scott Leader. Um, some of you may know him from this community. He was a roommate of mine in college. And we actually bought very similar guitars. This is actually a sister guitar to mine. Um, this, I don't know, within the same month, Scott, was it? Yeah, something like that. And so it's great to be back together with this guitar after many, many years. Um, haven't played it in a really long time. Um, but my guitar is at home and certainly really happy to know that I'm playing his sister. And, um, and the other connection I want to mention about this guitar is that my buddy Scott Leader um, introduced me, well, that's not necessarily introduced me, but, but is an incredible piano player and plays um, probably every Billy Joel song you could ever think of and Bruce Springsteen's song, and um, certainly turned me on to the world of that music. So I thought tonight I would sing for you a Billy Joel song called You're My Home. When you look into my eyes 
And you see the crazy gypsy in my soul It always comes as a surprise When I see my withered roots begin to grow Well, I never had a place that I could call my very own But that's all right, my love, cause you're my home When you touch my weary head And you tell me everything will be all right Use my body for your bed And my love will keep you warm throughout the night Well, I'll never be a stranger And I'll never be alone Whenever we're together, you're my home Home can be the Pennsylvania Turnpike, Indiana early morning dew. Oh, high up in the hills of California, home is just another word for you. If I travel all my life and I never get to stop and settle down, long as I have you by my side, there's a roof above and good walls all around. You're my castle, you're my cabin, you're my instant pleasure dome. I need you in my house, cause you're my home. Ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've been told to stall for time while we do an incredible scene change that will happen flawlessly before your very eyes, just like Les Mis, just the scenery moves. Cantor Woolman told me, uh, or he, you know, what did he say, 14 years ago? You know, 14 years ago when I was a cantor, I would go to an event and the ladies would come up to me and go, oh, you're not the cantor. You couldn't possibly be the cantor. You're too young. No one says that to me anymore. <laughs> it's okay, though. <laughs> We're gonna, um, all right, are we, how are we doing? We feeling this? We're almost there. We're almost there? Oh, yeah. I can't, I couldn't possibly do this scene without them. <laughs> Billy has to get into character, just give him time. And see. Good evening, Tabia. I can't believe this, Mordecai. The guy wants to buy my milk cow. Good mm. evening, Reb Laser Wolf. Have a drink. I won't insult you by saying no. Bartender. <laughs> of course. Oh. Yeah, looks like it does. You should know this, bartender. That's there what we is go. this kind of. <laughs> All right. Enough. 
How goes it with you, Tevya? How should it go? Mm. <sighs> and you? You're right, yeah. Sorry to hear that. <coughs> so, uh, how's your brother-in-law in America? I believe he's doing very well. He wrote you? Not lately. Well, then how do you know? If he was doing badly, he would write. Well, Tavia, I suppose you know why I wanted to speak with you. Yes, I do, Rev Laser, and th th there's no use talking about it. Well, why not? Why, yes. Why should I get rid of her? Well, you have more than a few without her. I see. Today you want one, tomorrow you may want two. Two? What would I do with two? The same as you do with one. Tavia, this is very important to me. Why is it so important? Well, frankly, because I'm lonesome. Lonesome? What are you talking about? You don't know? You were talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy from me. <laughs> A milk cow? <laughs> so I won't be so lonesome. <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? I was talking about your daughter. Your daughter, Tsaitl. My daughter, Tsaitl. Of course, your daughter Saitel. I see her in the butcher shop every Thursday. She's made a good impression upon me. Look, Tavia, why do we have to impress each other? Let's shake hands and call it a match. I will be good to her. I like her. Tavia, what do you think? What do I think? What do I think? <laughs> I never liked him. Why should I? You can have a fine conversation with him if you talk about kidneys and livers. <laughs> On the other hand, not everybody has to be a scholar. If you're wealthy enough, no one will call you stupid. And with a butcher, my daughter will surely never know hunger. Of course, he has a problem. He's much older than her. Well, that's her problem. But she's younger. Well, that's his problem. I always thought of him as a butcher, but I misjudged him. He's a good man. He likes her. He will try to make her happy. What do I think? It's a match. You agree? I agree. Oh, Tevia, that's wonderful. Let's drink on it. <laughs> to you, my friend. No, to you, my friend. Uh, to both of us. Mm. To both of us. To our agreement to our prosperity, to good health and happiness, and most important, everyone, to life, to life, l'chaim. L'chaim, l'chaim, to life. Here's to the father I try to be. Here's to my bride to be. Drink l'chaim, to life, to life, l'chaim. L'chaim, l'chaim, to life. Life has a way of confusing us Blessing and bruising us Drink L'chaim to life God would like us to be joyful Even when our hearts lie panting on the floor How much more can we be joyful When there's really nothing to be joyful for? To us and our good fortune Be happy, be healthy, long life and if our good fortune never comes, I guess do whatever comes. Drink L'chaim to life. Reb Morcha, drinks for everyone. What's the occasion? I'm taking myself a bride. Oh, who's the lucky one? Tevia's eldest, Saito. Mazel Tov! To Laser Wolf. To Tavia, to Zaitl, my daughter, my wife. May all our futures be pleasant ones, not like our present ones. Drink L'chaim to life, to life, L'chaim. L'chaim, L'chaim to life. It takes a wedding to make a 
say, let's live another day. Bring the joy into life. We'll raise a glass and tip a cup of shots in honor of the great good luck that favors you. We know that when good fortune favors to such men, it stands to reason we deserve it too. To us and our good fortune, be happy, be healthy, long life. And if our good fortune never comes, here's to whatever comes. Drink the diet to life. That was something very different. <clears throat> From the shtetls of Russia to the rivers and hills of America, a medley of three beloved American folk songs. I long to hear you on a way, you rolling river, O oh, Shenandoah, I long to see you away, we're bound away, cross the wild. Missouri Tis the gift to be simple Tis the gift to be free Tis the gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, twill be in the valley of love, of love, of love, and in love. Shall we 
the throne of God. Yes, we'll gather by the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints by the river. That flows by the throne of God. That flows by the throne of beginning of this concert, your rabbi asked us to sing the songs of the people. This is the song of our people. I'm going to ask something a little bit different tonight, if you don't mind. Traditionally, people used to rise when this song was sung. And I thought that maybe we could have a little bit of a moment together. I've never done this before with this piece. But what might it be like if we tried to create a moment here? And when the piece ends, whatever you're feeling, let's just take 10 seconds of silence, no applause, and just feel whatever you feel in your heart. And if you don't mind, let's maybe see what it's like to rise together if you're able to for this piece. But please do so. You must not say that you now walk the final way. Because the darkened heavens hide the blue of day The time we've longed for will at last draw near And our steps as drums will sound that we are here From land all green with palms to land all white with snow We now arrive with all our pain and all our woe Where our blood spread out and came to touch the land there our courage and our strength will rise and stand Where our blood spread out and came to touch the land There our courage and our strength will rise and stand So gnit kein belost du geden lands in in him in blai and a farstail in blai and a bag. Welcome in the moon, the conger, who is keeping the show. As with a poik, the moon, the trop, me sign in both. Some cream in palm and lands with white and land from snake. Me sign in dough, me junge, pine, me dunge, bag. On a boy, a fall and sees a spritz for dunge, boy. Let us sprout for the world, the world, the
difficult to uh, move on from that. That's powerful. Thank you so much. It's the next one we can sing together. Because I'll probably cry at the end of it. So, you know, <laughs> I need your help. And uh, as we see our lives move before us, Sing whatever you want. Just listen. Think about your own lives, the lives of your children, of your family, as we sing. Yesterday a child came out to wander, caught a dragonfly inside a jar. And fearful when the sky was full of thunder, and tearful at the fall of a star and the seasons and the seasons they go round and round and the painted ponies go up and down the captive on a carousel of time we can't return we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle we then the child moved ten times around the seasons skated over ten clear frozen streams and words like when you're older, must appease him and promises of someday make up his dreams. And the seasons, and the seasons, they go round and round, and the painted ponies go up and down. We're captive on a carousel of time. can't return, we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle game. Sixteen springs and sixteen summers gone now. Cartwheels turn to car wheels through the town. Tell him, take your time, it won't be long now till you drag your feet to slow the circles down. And the seasons, and the seasons, they go round and round, and the painted ponies go up and down. We're captive on a carousel of time. We can't return, we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle game. So the years spin by, now the boy is 20. Though his dreams have lost a lot of grandeur while coming true. There'll be new dreams, maybe better dreams, and plenty of new dreams, too. For the last revolving year is through. And the seasons, they go round and round, and the painted ponies go up and down. We're captive on a carousel of time. We can't return, we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle game. And go round and round and round in the circle
with my students a common exercise right around B'nai Mitzvah time. Put them in the center of a space. I say, if you agree with this, go this way. If you really agree with it, go all the way to the end. You go, okay, I'll a little bit, stand like on this side. If you disagree, go completely to the end. If you somewhat disagree, stay kind of like right here. And I ask him a bunch of questions like, I love latkes with applesauce, you know. And Justin Bieber's the best. <laughs> they don't even know who Justin Bieber is. He's old now. But the, um, the thing that, that I'm really getting to when I have this exercise with my students is I say, I believe I am American first and Jewish second. Which means that if they agree, they say they are American first and Jewish second. If they disagree, they say they are Jewish first and American second. And you would not believe the responses that our 12 and 13 year olds give. Insightful, struggling, trying to find themselves. Being American, they're usually like, well, I like football, so. <laughs> There's no Jewish football. <laughs> or they might say, I, I love my bubby so much. What would I be without my bubby? It's deeply powerful. And it's a treasure to be part of that conversation with our children. The medley we're about to sing will finish the concert. It takes us from our roots. Door to door, generation to generation. We are a product of our childhood, embracing it and cementing it in our adulthood, and sometimes rejecting what the children think is good music. But then we know that they're going to grow up and do the same thing all over again. So there's a little of this, a little of that, but come together at the end for a message of hope for the future. This is printed in your packet for tonight. And please, sing along. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water. This land was made for you and me, as I was Say not, 
cena, 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 Well, I have a hammer, and I got a bell, and I got a song to sing all over this land. It's the hammer of justice, it's the bell of freedom, it's a song about the love between my brothers and my sisters. Oh, recalls his own father teaching him the Ten Commandments, not big and dramatic like on Mount Sinai, but softly and with love and with kisses and caresses. He remembers his father adding two, the Eleventh Commandment and the Twelfth Commandment. The Eleventh Commandment his father taught him, don't change, and the Twelfth, you must surely change. Don't change. You must change. Isn't that the message of every parent? Stay exactly the way you are and grow, grow. So too, it's what one society says to the next generation. And it's not just personal, it's communal. Don't change this world we so love. And you must sure, surely change this world. Every generation has its battles, its liberations, its idols to smash, its norms to overturn, its art ideas to rewrite, its parents to educate, its revolutions to enact. Every generation has its folk songs. Every generation leads the way for the times, the times they are a-changing. Come writers and critics who prophesy with your pen and keep your eyes wide 
a chance won't come again. Don't speak too soon, for the wheel's still in spin. And there's no telling who that it's naming. Oh, the loser now will be later to win. For the times, they are a-changing. If you miss the train I'm on, you will know that I have gone. You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles, a hundred miles. A hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles. You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. Lord, I'm one, Lord, I'm two. Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael, Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael, Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko
song written by Pete Seeger. Let's try it together. Hope and we'll all pull through. Hope and we'll all pull through. Hope and we'll all pull through. Me and you. Each verse text is sung twice. When we look and we see things are not what they should be. God's counting on me. God's counting on me. God's counting on you. Try with us. When we look and we see things are not what they should be. God's counting on me. God's counting on me. God's counting on you. Hope and we'll all. Hope and we'll all pull through. Hope and we'll all pull through. Hope and we'll all pull through. Me and you. Try the second verse with us. What we do, what we do now, now, you and me, will affect eternity. God's counting on me. God's counting on me. God's counting on you. What we do now, you and me, will affect eternity. God's counting on me. God's counting on me. God's counting on you. Hope and we'll all pull through. Hope and we'll all pull through. Hope and we'll all pull through. Me and you. When we work with younger folks, we can never give up hope. God's counting on me. God's counting on me. God's counting on you. When we work. Younger folks, we can never give up hope. God's counting on me. God's counting on me. God's counting on you. Last time, open we all. Open we all. Have I been asleep too long? Where have I gone wrong? 
When I awoke, I found the world in need of peace songs. Have I lost the fight? Have I forgotten my rights? When did I become the one of you are wrong and I am right? More love, more love, more peace, more peace. I don't know how or when or where, but more please. More hope, more hope, more decency. I don't know how or when or where, but more please. This land is your land. This land is my land. California to the New York Island. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. This land was made for you. It was made for me. A song we used to know but always needs repeating. More love in this land. Love's one thing we all can understand. The time has come once again to raise our voice and lend a hand. More love, more love, more peace, more peace. I don't know how or when or where. More please, more hope, more hope, more decency. Don't know how or when or where. More, please. This will take all of us singing together. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made. so much everyone to our guests and our choir Dan Kirk thank you so much Alan Applin Cantor Arik Luck Cantor Billy Type Cantor Sharona Feller Cantor, Cantor Ross, Ross Wallman. Wallman. Thank you Temple Chai good night here's some more love <laughs>